Now, have you ever wondered who pays for your roads, flood defences or broadband projects? No, I thought not. But if you did, the government has come up with a way to help you out. If something has been built from public money, then it will come with a plaque, which will feature the Union Jack and a line telling you it was funded by the UK government. Seems harmless enough, but not to everybody. We're joined now from Edinburgh by James Dornan, is the Scottish Nationalist member uh, in the Scottish Parliament. What, what would be wrong with putting up uh, in these projects funded by the UK government? There's nothing wrong with it. I, think, I find the time very interesting, just what, less than 10 weeks before a general election that this announcement comes up that the Westminster government are trying to convince us that everything good comes from them. But more importantly, it's not so much that they put plaques on buildings or, or uh, uh, any other infrastructure, but that they have cut our infrastructure by 25%. They've missed a huge opportunity here if they'd kept our capital budget uh, as it had been before, if they hadn't made those 25% cuts. Just think of all the buildings they could have put these lovely plaques on. Uh, do you think that um, you would like to see funded by the Scottish Government with the salt tyre as well? Well, they're already... Uh, I don't think we should be going into a competition about uh, who funds what. I mean, at the end of the day, everything's funded by the taxpayer. There are uh, projects that have got the, the Scottish Government logo on them, as the same with the EU. This is not a big issue for us. I think the timing's interesting. I think it's a sign of the but panic that's shown in Westminster uh, for the forthcoming general election. But your, um, your party described it as, quote, a silly gimmick. I think it is. I think it's a silly gimmick. I think the timing is silly. I think it shows just how nervous they are coming up to May the 7th. Do you think it's, it's as, silly, as silly as Mr Salmon pulling out the salt tyre at Wimbledon? Why is that silly? Why is that silly? Why is it silly to, to praise a Scottish athlete, to celebrate a Scottish athlete winning Wimbledon? I mean, this is, and I, and I heard your guests laughing, and I think that that is indicative of some of the things that we've had to put up with here. Yeah, That's except outrageous. that Andy Murray said uh, he didn't like it, he thought it was demeaning. Well, Andy Murray wasn't sitting beside him. Andy, Andy, I don't think that's exactly what Andy Murray said. Well, he said he didn't Andy, like Andy, it. Andy, Andy Murray was playing, and Alex Salmond was there as a supporter of Andy Murray. And if you but, look at any football matches, if you look at other sporting events, if you look at David Cameron with Union Jacks, then I think you'll find what you're doing is you've been very selective in your criticism here. Yeah, yes, but uh, people don't play with uh, as nationalities at Wimbledon. W Wimbledon is, is for individuals. They're not they're not yes, there representing yes, yes. Scotland or America or you, Australia. No, you, they're there as individuals. So you're, you're right. It, so there was it, absolutely no Union Jacks at Henman Hill. I've never seen any Union Jacks at Wimbledon before. Of course people take pride in somebody from the, the, their country. That's just a natural thing to do. No, but and what to be honest, I thought we were here to discuss Westminster and not to revisit history in Wimbledon. Ah, well you thought wrong. So we'll leave Clearly. it there. Thank you very much. <laughs>